Good day and welcome back to Good Tech Academy. I am Adam Slater and I bet you weren't expecting to see me so soon, but here I am. Okay, so if you watched my last video, we talked about some of the computer basics. What is a computer? Why is it? What is it? What are they? Um, now we're going to go into a little bit more detail on the inner workings of what and how and why. So, are you ready? Because here we go. Now, all of you that are out there, as you look at this picture below me here, right here, you'll notice software update. Now, if you are an iPhone user, I can guarantee you've seen this picture at one point in time in your life because I know I've seen it a ton in the last year that I've owned my iPhone. So, what this is, is a software update. It is a free download for an application operating system that provides fixes for features that aren't working properly or may add minor software enhancements and compatibility. These small incremental updates improve the operation of your software. Now, this doesn't just apply to iPhones. This is any type of digital device out there will have some type of software update. These updates are crucial. Now, I know that there's a lot of you out there that argue about, oh, iOS version this was better than iOS version that and so on and so on. But the point is, is that what you're missing is that in these incremental updates that they do are major security fixes that happen. Now, I know this is a big thing because Windows 7 and Microsoft just said that they ended their support for Windows 7. Now, I'm going to explain to you what that does. What that means is that Windows and Microsoft are not supporting Windows 7, which means they will not send out any more security updates. Those bad guys that are forever out there trying to get us, forever trying to hack their way into things. Um, as these companies that own these operating systems find these nice little loopholes, backdoors, pathways into their operating system that the bad guys find, they shore those up and release it as a patch. Now, this happens every month with Windows 10. They get a new security patch. It's updating it, upgrading it, making it faster, better, more secure. iOS does the same thing. They're very adamant about that. Uh, for you Android users, sorry, they probably don't do it quite as much. Um, but the point of these upgrades are that they don't just give you new features and change features from the old ones, um, but they do those security patches. The other part of it is that they are also looking at, hey, did the customers like this cool new feature? Oh, they didn't? Well, we'll take it out of there. We'll change it around. Maybe they'll like it better like this. Or they actually listen to what we say as consumers because without us, these companies wouldn't have a company. Right? 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 Like, if everybody just stopped buying Apple products tomorrow, Apple would go out of business pretty quick. But... They are listening to you and they will change these things and they are trying to provide a service for you, for me, so that we will buy their products. Storing data. I can guarantee at some point in time in your life, you have used one of these three storage devices. If you've ever used a phone, a computer, a laptop, anything like that. So the three main types of storage devices are that are out there, and this goes for any computer system, is your USB flash drive, your Google Drive, and your local C disk or local disk. Now we're going to start with probably the smallest form of storage right now there is out there. And whenever I say small, I mean like as in physically small. A USB flash drive is a pocket sized data storage device that is used to save electronic files. These, as you can see them down here, are USB drives, they're everywhere. They're thumb drives, they fit in your pocket, they fit on your keychain, um, but they allow us to store data and be mobile with it. Meaning I can take mine out of my laptop, walk over to my desktop computer, slam it in, and move files from my laptop to my computer without physically having to email them or something along those lines. It allows me to take that thumb drive like I've got right now that's got all of my information stored on it unplug it from my laptop, take it with me wherever I need to go so I can slam it into anything and be able to retrieve that data. Now, while we're talking about this, as you see right here below me in this picture, this is a picture of a USB port. These USB ports are very, very important ports and they are things that have become a industry standard in more than just computers. Um, our phone chargers are USB chargers. Our car chargers are USB chargers. iPods, tablets, everything has gone to these USB chargers because 
They are a very effective way of not only transferring data, but power. Now, there are three types of USB out there. I know you're probably thinking, what, there's more than one. Yes, there are three types of USB out there. As you can see here, this would be a USB 1 thumbstick. Um, this USB 1, I can identify it because of this white tip that's right here along this edge. As you can see that right there, that lets me know that's a USB 1. USB 1s were the first. They were the original. They're also the slowest. So nowadays, everything kind of moved forward. We have USB 2. USB 2 is indicated by a black tip, which is right here. That lets me know that that is a USB 2. It is universally standard and it can be on just about everything that's out there. Our chargers, our ports, everything. Um, this is a little bit faster than USB 1 and is more of an industry standard than the USB 3, which is the next type. Now, unfortunately, I don't have an example on hand of a USB 3. But USB 3s are indicated by blue tips, uh, either on the inside port or along the thumb drive port here. Uh, those USB 3s are becoming the industry standard for being the fastest and best way to transmit data through USB. Um, now, they're not everywhere and they're not on every type of computer because it is a newer industry standard that everybody is currently moving over to. So you'll still see USB 2 quite a bit. USB 1, not so much. Uh, we also have our local disk or C disk. Uh, it is considered as the main hard disk of the system and is used to store the operating system, system files, applications, and the related files. If you own a computer, you will use a C disk at some point in time in the future or in the past. Uh, the local C disk, as you can see here on a computer, is usually indicated by this icon or someone similar, depending on whether you're using Windows 7 or Windows 10. Um, it is where your operating system is going to be stored. It is where everything is going to be stored on your computer, your home PC, unless you have a certain type of PC that does the next one, which is Google Drive. Google Drive is a free service offered by Google that allows you to store and share files online. Now, this is a cloud sharing or cloud saving device. Um, we save our information on a server that is stored up in Forever Neverland and allows us to access it from anywhere we want. Meaning, I can take a file, save it on my Google Drive on my laptop. I can then reach over here Grab my iPhone, boop, 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 boop. log in into my Google account on my iPhone and access that same information off of here. I can then go to my tablet, boop, 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 boop. enter in my information, log into my Google account, access that information from Google and have it. If I save something in the cloud, I can access it from any point, anywhere, just as long as I know my logon credentials. Boop, 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 boop. And that is very helpful. We use it every day at my job to share files and you know, certain information back and forth between all of us because of the fact that if I give somebody else access to it, they can have access to it. Um, these cloud sharing devices like Google Drive, Dropbox, or the iPhone version of it, um, all allow you to access those files online, digitally, anytime from anywhere. Now, what that means is that those providers are also responsible for the security of that information meaning they maintain it, they keep it safe, and they watch over it for you so you don't have to. Now, mouse pointers. Uh, there are four main types of mouse pointers that you'll usually see when operating on a computer. A mouse pointer is a visible indicator displayed on a computer screen by moving the mouse. The user can move the pointer around the screen. You're going to see four different types of mouse pointers as you're moving around the screen. You're going to see your arrowhead, which is this one right here that I'm using to show you this one right here. Um, there's your hand pointer, which is this one right here. There's your text pointer or I-beam or cursor. And then there is your pinwheel hourglass. So what does this all mean? Your arrowhead pointer allows you to open files and computer programs or to select certain items on the screen. This one is the one you'll use most of the time, unless you see one of the others pop up. The hand pointer. The hand pointer is used to open up hyperlinks. Hyperlinks are those gateways to the internet. Um, we'll be talking about that in one of the later lessons that I'll be putting out. Your text cursor. Uh, your text cursor or iBeam is where you can click in and type and text to write. 
And then your pinwheel hourglass is the pointer that represents the computer, the web page, or the program is loading. Now, there are three different types of uh, pinwheel hourglasses that are out there, um, and they vary. Now, what this usually means is not that your computer is broken. It just means that your computer is having to think, oh my God, I know a computer that, that takes time to do something. It happens. Uh, there could be lag on the internet. There could be a search being done on the computer. Certain functions do require the computer to have to take a moment and think. Um, be mindful. These are computers. Computers are written by man, and what is more flawed than man? Right? So sometimes there are hiccups. There are things that go on, and you'll see these pinwheel hourglasses come up. Just wait. Relax. Give it a minute to load or think about it. Um, now, if it's been more than a couple of minutes and you're still in that pinwheel hourglass going, you might want to try to escape, exit, figure out something else. Well, I think I've rambled on long enough, so I'm going to let y'all go ahead and go. Now, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please, please, please feel free to email me at goodtechacademy at goodwilletx.com. As always, if you want to have a video or have any suggestions for videos for us to make, leave those comments down there in that comment section. I want to see them. I love to see them. And if you want to keep seeing these videos, because I know you do because it gives me something to do with my life, please subscribe, watch those videos, like this video, and please, 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 I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.